Thanks for watching this Mapbox tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to add an object to your 3D map. And the object that I'm adding to my map is an image of a floor plan. As you can see here, as I zoom in, I can see my floor plan. So I downloaded the PNG of this museum's floor plan, and in order for Mapbox to know where to put this image, the image needs to have geographic coordinates associated with it. And this is called georeferencing. And adding a georeferenced object to a map has a lot of use cases, like adding a floor plan like this, or another one like for the gaming world, you can add an image of a character or of a fictional a map of a fictional place to a certain location. Or you can add satellite imagery or a historic map to your interactive map. And in order to georeference an image, you have to use an external software. Mapbox doesn't provide built-in tools to georeference imagery right now because there are already lots of free open source tools that you can use to do this, like QGIS. And it's just one option available to you. Um, Mapbox is a very powerful tool that can be used in conjunction with a lot of applications. And if there's a one that you wanna see a demo on, just tweet us at Mapbox on Twitter and let us know. So let's use QGIS to first georeference our floor plan. So install QGIS on your computer and open it up. Okay, so here is QGIS. So first we need to make sure that the georeferencer GDAL plugin is enabled. So at the top, go to Plugins, Manage and Install Plugins. And at the top, we'll just type in GeoReferencer. Here it is, GeoReferencer GDAL. Make sure that this box on the right is checked. Close. And now we want to add our image. So at the top, go to Raster, GeoReferencer. And we'll open up the PNG of our floor plan. File, Open Raster. And here is the floor plan. And we have to choose the coordinate reference system for this image. And I'm going to choose EPSG, EPSG 4326. Here it is right here. Click OK. And we have a few tools up at the top to navigate around the picture. I'll just zoom out a little bit. And we can add a point with this button right here. And I'm going to add one point in each corner and assign a latitude and longitude to each corner. So up at the top, click, and X is your longitude and Y is your latitude. So at the top left corner, my longitude, this, and my latitude is this, and okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the other three corners. Okay, now that I have all four of my points added, I'm going to go to Settings, Transformation Settings. And for Transformation Type, I want a Thin Plate Spline. And for Target SRS, we want to choose EPSG 4326 to match our image. And Output Raster, we're going to browse for a location to save our .tiff. So I'm just going to do floor plan output. And make sure load in QGIS when done is checked and click OK. Now we can start georeferencing this image. So go to file and start georeferencing. And you'll see a successful message up here. Now we can take that .tiff image that we saved and bring it in as a tile set into Mapbox. So let's go back into our Mapbox Studio account. I'm back in Mapbox Studio and I'm going to click on tile sets. Click on New Tile Set, select a file, and we're going to find that .tiff file that QGIS outputted for us. Here it is, Floor Plane Output. Confirm. Okay, now that our tile set has been loaded, we're going to go back to Styles and we're going to add this tile set as a layer on our map. So let's go back into our template. Here's our 3D building. Click on Add Layer. And if you scroll down, you will see our floor plan output tile set. Click on that and click on Style. And I actually want the floor plan to look like it's inside the building, so I'm just going to change the order of these two layers. I'm going to move the floor plan underneath my 3D building. So now when I zoom in, 
can see my floor plan and you can reset the pitch. So there's the floor plan of my building. So there you go. Now you know how to add an object to your 3D map. Thanks for using Mapbox and keep building.